How's it going guys? Welcome to Rev and Step and finally, finally we have a car video for you. It's not really going to involve any cars. Um, I've been slacking with the car videos, I'll be honest with you. It's just life in such a way that I don't have the ability to do anything to the car. However, I'm working on something that hopefully it will produce more videos for you guys. But right now, I don't really have the place, I don't have the garage, or I don't have the ability to do any work to my Mustang, to my Bullet. Not like I want to do a lot of work to it, the car is ideal the way it is. But this is a different video. I want to talk to you guys about, most of you, most of the car people have probably heard about this, and that is the, the new law that the EPA is trying to pass. And I got that idea kind of like from uh, Evan Shanks. Uh, if, you guys don't, if you guys don't know who he is, just go online, check out his uh, stuff on YouTube. He makes some awesome videos, and he made a, a very valid point is, we need to be heard as, as car lovers, as people that we enjoy working on cars, tweaking on cars, people that enjoy buying a, a, a stock car and making it into a race car or uh, dedicating it to actually a race car, going on, down on the tracks, doing that stuff, just modding the cars. Uh, as Evan mentioned in his video, the car was an outlet that saved his life, which I can probably say a lot of people have felt that way. Uh, myself, I, I was never to that extreme, but cars were able to uh, let me let me run with an idea. Or, for example, if I had a bad day, I would be able to get in my car, forget about anything that's around, and just go for a drive and enjoy. I, sometimes I would do the same loops in my city. I originally came from St. Louis. Um, I would do the same loops over and over. It was like an extended loop that I went outside the city. And I enjoyed the roads. There were some uh, wine roads, or that's what I call them, but there's like uh, roads that lead to the wineries over there. And they're super, super curvy roads, very enjoyable to drive on. And that gets to clear your mind. It completely clears your mind out of anything. Or the best thing is it lets you think about things and find a solution or fi find an exit out of uh, the road that you're in. So cars, just, just by like listening to the exhaust, being able to handle well, uh, obviously, I would say, guys, just if you're in that, that type of stuff, make sure you're doing it safely, of course. I believe the EPA is kind of approaching it that way as well because of safety and emissions and whatever. But make sure you do that stuff safe. Uh, always, always, always be safe. But just like driving slowly, just going through a nice scenic route, um, going by, driving by a river, dri seeing the, the change in color of the leaves and stuff like that. It helps you kind of like you know balance your life out if you've had a negative experience like a negative day or something like that it just balances that it makes it so much better just like shifting through the gears listening to the car it makes everything better so anyway let's get to the uh, the topic and I guess I'm kind of like taking Evan's challenge of uh, issuing a video how I feel about this whole EPA new law they're trying to pass which is actually getting really close to passing which is kind of scary just to sum it up uh, I put it up here this is actually a SEMA website that you can go to and actually uh, fill the petition which can really you know help us in a way maybe they won't pass the law because of that but I don't think that's really gonna be very helpful but if you guys have time Go to their website, I'll put the link down in the video, just go to their website, fill out the petition. It's, I mean, any anyone that can fill out the petition will be very helpful. But here, here's my feelings. So the EPA, basically what they're trying to do is obviously they're working with the carbon emission, blah, blah, blah. They're trying to, you know, save the world type of thing. However, they should focus on better trucks for the trucking industry, better trains for the train industry, and even, even their like trash trucks, their UPS trucks and stuff like that, that generates a lot more pollution than our race car. Yes, we, we bypass catalytic converters, oxygen sensors, sensors, we run straight pipes, whatever, but their trucks generate a lot more carbon pollution or they leave a lot more damage on the carbon footprint. So they're kind of approaching this in the wrong way. Um, I believe that cars, yes, cars do generate a lot of pollution, but it's not here in the States when you think about the developing countries, like countries like India, uh, Brazil, China, all those developing countries, their cars are way out of date. They drive old cars because they just can't afford a newer car. So that generates a lot more pollution than what we have here in the States, which that's why to me it just does not make sense to, to regulate what we drive, especially when we buy a new car and just, let's say, remove the catalytic converter. Yes, that generates some, some extra carbon pollution, but it's not that bad. I get it, it's, it's loud to your neighbors, it's loud to everyone else, 
but it's not the worst. So, but so the EPA, again, I kind of like went off track here, but the EPA basically what they're trying to do is they're trying to remove all that. So what that means is you can modify your car whatsoever. You can do any intakes. You can just do a resonator delete. That's what my Mustang has. My Mustang has a resonator delete. And that's illegal that will be illegal because it generates like noise pollution so any any exhaust work any i'm not actually sure when it comes to like suspension work like tires and and lowering the car that probably would be okay but any uh performance modification would be illegal so i don't know how the epa would regulate that uh if the cops would stop you over and and, and pull you over i mean and they, they would say, oh my gosh, you have an illegal muffler. You replaced your muffler with like a louder muffler. I don't know if they'll impound your car and you have to replace it before they release your car to you. I have no idea with those details. I don't know what's going to happen. But that contract, um, so any like superchargers, any turbos, turbo upgrades, anything like that that would be legal. Which, here's the thing. How are you going to test if a turbo was upgraded on a car? Most of the turbos you can't really see, they're, they're, they're hidden. And if the car comes stuck, with a turbo, if you just get a bigger turbo that's from the manufacturer, for example, the prime example is I had the GTI where I just got the Golf R turbo, put it on there. You couldn't tell if it was, you know, aftermarket turbo. And really, it wasn't aftermarket turbo. It came from Volkswagen themselves. So I don't know how the EPA would test for that or I don't know what they would do. So that's, that's a whole different stuff that they have to get into. The main thing is they're going to cause a lot of pain to a lot of people because we use our cars as outlets to enjoy ourselves. So they're going to have that issue going on. And, and then there's going to be a lot of jobs. I believe the industry is about $2 billion a year generated just from motorsports. And I'm not sure if that actually counts people like you and I that just modify our cars at home. I'm not sure, but I know there's a lot of businesses that feed their families on selling aftermarket parts or creating aftermarket parts, marketing aftermarket parts. It's a huge industry. So if the EPA passes this law, you're going to have a lot of jobless people. There's about, I believe, legally, or I, I don't know exactly the right word to use here, but there's about 1,300 tracks out in the States that people go and race every weekend, every week, whatever. They go race. There's 1,300 tracks. These tracks have to be prepped, cleaned, and someone has to, uh, there has to be like referee, if you want to call them, or whatever you want to call them, the, the judges and so on. Maintenance, they have to be maintained. Uh, if stuff happens, there's tow truck drivers there that make their living off of that. So you have a lot of jobs that are going to be lost if the EPA passes this. So the EPA is not thinking down the line. They're thinking like, oh, we want to save the world. And that's it. We don't care who we hurt. But that's not the case because you're going to have a lot of people that are going to have no jobs. Their mental health is not going to be in the right place uh, and then you you have people that lose their jobs they enjoy cars and their mental health is is kind of sketch already and they're, they're without all that so to me the epa is going to cause a lot more damage to to the environment if you if you count people as an environment because to me people people are part of the environment we are part of a huge uh ecosystem so you're going to have a lot of damage you're going to lose about two billion dollars of of you know revenue basically um because you got to pay taxes for that stuff you're gonna lose a lot of jobs as i said that before you're gonna lose a lot of smart people that can market very well people that can sell uh people that produce parts that are helpful for cars aftermarket parts you're gonna lose all that just by trying to protect the environment a little bit there's other ways that you can protect the environment why don't they focus on producing uh, there's one thing that I saw that people are making road out of solar panels. Why don't you focus on that? Produce a road that can generate electricity from the sun during the day where electricity doesn't have to be generated using nuclear stuff, using coal, etc, etc, etc. Use that stuff instead of focusing on the little people, which that's what we are, that we enjoy tweaking our car in our garage. It just makes no sense. So again, I think I made this video a little bit too longer. I talked a little bit too much about this stuff. And if you guys are interested, here's how much I, I do enjoy cars. I do still love driving my car. And so, and I have these like awesome sketches. You guys can see that, but it's uh, it's an old, it's an old design of a car right there. Uh, and then there's an engine, another car, 
uh, and then a transmission as well. So I have, th these are like sketches, they're really cool. Uh, here, I'll show you. It's, that's the internal combustion engine and I have all the sketches. So these, these sketches are really, really cool. I really enjoy that. And then you have a little sketch here about the headlights and how they're designed. And then you have a brake right there. So it wasn't a transmission. I thought for some reason I thought it was a transmission, but that's the brake. So yeah, so that's what we have going on in the news now. And I think again, I said this, and I want to like close the video out because it, it's a lot longer video. I have more opinions about it. I could talk about this the whole day. But I just want to say that the EPA should focus on other things. They should focus on how to improve the, the mail trucks, uh, UPS, uh, FedEx, improve those trucks. Uh, the trash or the trash trucks basically, the garbage trucks, they should focus on that. They should really focus on how to improve the actual trucking industry because that will help a lot. That will reduce a lot of carbon. There's so many truckers moving stuff from the east coast to the west coast to midwest etc etc that's a lot why don't you try and electrify those why don't you try and reduce the smog these cars create versus us like we don't really create that much damage to the environment we actually enjoy what we're doing and it we find kind of like an escape messing with our cars even when we make a race car this is what i also find interesting that's not our daily car. We don't drive that car every day from uh, from home to work and, and back. We use that during the weekends and that's it. However, they want to focus on that stuff. Our daily cars, we use that on a daily basis. So granted, I don't have a daily car. I still use my Mustang to get me to work and from, but I still have my cats on there. I still have all the requirements. I still have all my oxygen sensors. All I did is replace a resonator. So you're telling me that by replacing a resonator, I'm tweaking the exhaust system because it's generating more noise pollution or, or, or more carbon pollution? It makes no sense. So I'm not sure what the end goal for the EPA is. I know they're trying to electrify all cars, but you're still gonna have internal combustion engines. That's, that's a fact. Until electric or hydrogen cells become that much better, that more powerful, that more affordable, you're still gonna have internal combustion engines. You still have people that are driving with 30 year old cars. Help them. Buy them an electric car. Give them an electric car to reduce the carbon pollution. Don't hurt us. We, we love messing with cars. We love making our cars better. Yes, we're gonna generate a little bit of extra pollution. So be it. There's a lot more worse things out there. So anyway, I, I'm gonna stop this video. I hope, uh, I'm just kind of taking like, as I said, Evan Shank's challenge. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed what uh, I had to say. Again, if you if you want to help in any way, go to sema.org uh, slash epa-news uh, and just, you know, fill out the petition there. It, all the names would definitely be helpful. And also, and also another thing that I forgot to mention, but think about this. There's a lot of YouTubers. I'm not one of them because my channel is not that big. There's a lot of YouTubers that this is their source of income. Modifying their cars is their source of income. So what would they do? That means those YouTubers are going to lose their jobs as well. So what's going to happen next for them? I mean, they have families, they have people that they employ, they have editors, they have people that shoot their videos, etc., etc. That's a lot of jobs that are going to be gone. So I think the EPA is not thinking at the greater picture. It just doesn't make sense. Thank you guys for watching. I will bring more content. I know I keep saying this. Uh, I have actually a few things on order for the Mustang, which I'm really excited to uh, show you guys uh, what I got. It's going to be awesome. Uh, I appreciate you guys for watching. Thank you for giving me your time. If you liked the video, please click the like. If you didn't, so be it. Uh, and if you guys enjoy the content, you can always subscribe and watch more videos. I'll see you guys later.